What's up, guys? How you all doing out there? It's me, DJ Shig, uh, and this time I'm going to show you a little tutorial about how to uh, how to upload your OGG files into into a voice box and uh, basically take all those cuts that you made in Audacity and make them make them a product, make them a playable voice box that you can use in IMVU. Um, so it's going to be a, a fairly short, fairly simple tutorial, um, a lot less, a lot less in depth than the uh, than the one about the cutting. Um, but uh, basically, okay, so I already have this here open. Um, this is just a blank derivable voice box. This is my own. Um, you're going to have to start off with this uh, now. This isn't the only one. I mean, you can you can go into the shop tab. You can uh, you can type in derivable voice box. You can find your own. You can make your own uh, if you want to use this one here. I will actually link it into the description for you. Um, but when you're on this page and you need to make sure that you are signed in, uh, you can tell if it says sign out. You know, then that means that you are signed in. Um, but uh, when you are signed in, you should have this little button down here. It says derive from product. Um, and as long as you have a creator status, you can do it. So I'm going to click this now. Uh, it should pop up with this screen here. It says IMVU quality agent dot exe. We are going to open the link and that will bring us right to the create tab within IMVU. So here we have, we have editor one um, across the top here. I not sure if you guys have seen this before. If not, I mean, I'll kind of explain what you need to know here. Um, we're basically going to ignore every single tab here, except for actions. We're not adding meshes. We're not uh, doing anything with the assets. We're not adding actors. We're not, uh, we're not debugging. There's no configuration that needs to happen. Um, but you're going to click over to actions and it will actually bring up this screen here. Now, everything down here in the pink, we don't really need to worry about at all. Uh, what we need to worry about is this, this section here, uh, this nice blue teal um, kind of greeny section. Um, and this is where we're going to do everything with our audio files, our OGGs. So, um, mine as a default actually does have an OGG in there. Uh, it's called Wilhelm Scream. Um, it's a popular scream that uh, you hear in just about every movie. Uh, if you ever if you ever did hear it, you would recognize it. But anyways, we're just going to write right over that, and we are going to start by putting in our first trigger. So the two boxes that we really have to worry about are the trigger box, um, basically what I have highlighted here, and what's going on down here, and the add OGG button, um, as well as this little add button but we'll get into that in a second. So the trigger box is basically, uh, it's just, it, it's what you want to name your trigger. So uh, if you've ever triggered a song on IMVU, you know it's ASDF1, oh. or you know ASDF2, or ASDF3. Um, so this is where we name our triggers, and in this case here, we're just going to name it Fox1. Uh, and this will be our first OGG. So when you click the add OGG button, it brings up this window here. Uh, you can see it took me directly to my folder that I have my Fox OGGs in um, on your computer. It might be different. Mine was saved on my desktop. I usually save it in a different folder, but for this case, I just kind of threw it on my desktop. You might have it in your documents, wherever you decided to save your OGGs, you are going to find it and you are going to open it and it'll bring up this box here. So we'll just double click on Fox one and there we go we have we have our very first trigger and our very first OGG now we're just gonna try it out here just to make sure that uh, that this actually worked for us uh, you just hit apply changes which I already did and then click on your avatar here and then go down to Fox one and you can hear it is playing perfectly so <laughs> we'll just let this one play out for now done <laughs> done and perfect. So now that we have our first OGG, uh, we, we have we have that kind of kind of bound to the trigger and everything. We are going to add a second one and you do that with the add button. And you need to do this for every single one of your OGGs. So we'll go add, we'll add another trigger. We'll call this one Fox 2. Go to add OGG, make sure that we click on Fox 2. And there we go, there's our Fox 2 trigger. We're going to do Fox 3. We just added another action there. That's, that's what that add button is. You're adding another action to, uh, to your sound box. We'll go add OGG. Make sure it's there. 
apply change every once in a while. You don't always have to, you don't have to hit apply changes after every single one. You just have to make sure you do it before you actually upload the product. Um, otherwise you won't be able to upload the product. Um, Across the top here, uh, just to kind of point this out, we can actually go back and make changes if we accidentally, uh, say, labeled this one here, uh, FXO, uh, we made a typo or something like that. Um, and then, you know, you can kind of come back. Oh, well, <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. It actually defaulted back to Fox 1. But if we put like the wrong OGG or something, maybe we accidentally put OGG 5 uh, instead of OGG 1. Um, simple mistake. It's, it's happened to me before. Um, but you, you can actually go back and edit all of these different actions. And they're all labeled across the top. You can either click one or you can use these little arrows. And that'll take you over to Fox 2. That'll take you over to Fox 3. Um, <clears throat> So far, everything looks good, so I'm just going to continue here with Fox 4. Fox 5. Fox 6. And this is actually... Uh, this is actually the most tedious process of, of the whole cutting thing for me. Um, it's just uploading these OGGs because you have to do it all one by one. Uh, you have to type in Fox, oh, Fox 8. You have to type them all in manually. Um, there is no easier way to do this. Oh, see, see. Okay, so this is exactly what I was talking about. I accidentally uploaded Fox 9 instead of Fox 8. So we are just going to, you know, trigger Fox 8, sound Fox 9. I messed that up. We're just going to go to Fox 8 and there we go. We've made our we've made our uh, correction. So then we can go back over here. This should be Fox 9. And it's kind of cool because up here it actually labels uh, what your triggers are and everything. So you can go back to Fox 6. You can go back to Fox 7. You don't really have to guess uh, which one it is because it's all labeled out Fox 7, Fox 8. We've got Fox 1, 2, 3, 4, all that, all that stuff. So um, we're just going to continue adding our OGGs and, and our labels and everything. So we're almost done. We've only got five more to go. This is going to be Fox 1 to Fox 11. Or sorry, Fox Fox 15 is our is our last OGG. So we're going to have three more after this one here. And then we are going to get to the uploading process. And uh, I'm going to show you how to publish it too. So Fox 13, Fox 14, Fox 15. And there we have it. There is all of our, all of our OGGs, all in our in our voice box. So go all the way back to the beginning. We got Fox one, two, three, four, five, six. We keep on going. I like to double check this just to make sure all the OGGs actually line up with the triggers to make sure I didn't accidentally put the wrong OGG to the to the wrong trigger. And there we go, everything looks perfect to me. So from here we can apply our changes, we're going to save our progress. And once we've applied our changes and saved our progress, we can now move over to the upload screen. So we'll click that and it will bring up a nice little box here. And this is all of our uploading information. So here we have a product name, we have a rating, we have our profit, um, we can add our image. Um, we can type in some search words so that when people are looking for this in, uh, in the catalog, they can find it. Um, and one thing that I really, really like to do um, is to uncheck this. This is allow uh, derivation from this product. And the reason I do this is because if you have that box checked, there is nothing stopping someone from, um, from opening up your product in the editor and just making absolutely no changes to it and then marking it up like an extra 500 credits and it's just they're stealing your hard work and making a profit off of it i really don't agree with that i mean it's up to you guys you can allow the der derivation but i worked hard on this and i don't really want to see my work go stolen so i always uncheck that um now from here we're going to start off with our product name so i'm actually going to call it yell this the fox and I'm not going to add anything anything crazy to it I just want a basic name so that people know exactly what it is Elvis the fox um, 
next we are going to set our ratings. So we have our general audience or our access pass only. I'm gonna set this one to general audience. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, I'll set most things to general audience um, unless there's swearing involved. And uh, um, in that case, if, the, if there's swearing in, in your song, um, you might want to set it to access pass only. And then that way there, you know, you just kind of make sure that, uh, that somebody doesn't report your, uh, report your product for, uh, TOS violation and everything. Um, go general audience and we are going to set our profit. I like to set mine at 300. Um, you can set yours to more, you can set yours to less. Um, my best advice is don't get, don't get greedy and do that. Um, because people generally don't want to pay 1500 credits for, uh, for one voice box, but I will set it to 300. Um, that sets my, uh, total to 773 credits and people are willing to pay it and, um, they get a great product out of it. Um, so the next step is we're going to add our image and I've already taken the liberty of making an icon for this. Um, your icon needs to be a hundred pixels wide by 80 pixels tall. Um, maybe I can cover how to, uh, how to make a, uh, make a nice shop icon, but you know, if you hover over it and everything, you can kind of get a good preview of it. That's how it's going to look in the shop tab. And that's what people are going to see when they look at your product. Um, I've got a nice little Fox there. Um, nice, easy to read. Uh, I've got the labels up at the, cr uh, up at the top. It's Fox one to 15. You'll this, the Fox. And then of course my, uh, my border and my uh, my little stamp down at the very bottom. Um, so for keywords, um, you can kind of put everything you want. I like to keep it pretty basic. Yelvis. Um, you're going to separate your keywords with uh, commas. The fox. So those are usually the first two that I do. I, I usually start with the artist or band, and then I will. Uh, the next one will be the the, the name of the song, um, and then that way there, when people are looking for this in the uh, in the shop tab, they can type in Yelvis and they can see all the Yelvis songs that every creator has done, or the fox, and then they'll see it. Uh, they'll see it somewhere in there. So um, we'll just rock. <laughs> Why not? Um, dubstep. That's another good trigger word that I like to use. Uh, a lot of people search dub or dubstep uh, in the shop and, and that'll make sure that your product actually shows up when people search dubstep. So music, trigger, um, tune, why not? We'll put, we'll put tune, um, EDM, sure, why not? I mean, it's kind of electronic. It's not really EDM, but you know, it's kind of close. Um, and Windows wants to restart on me to, to do some stuff, so we'll just snooze that. Um, you can use up to 12 different uh, searchable keywords. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I can't really think any more uh, uh, of any more off the top of my head, so we're just gonna leave it at eight. Um, I usually like to fill up the whole 12, but uh, you know what, for the sake of it, we're just gonna go with those eight trigger words and uh, or those eight keywords, and then uh, we're gonna hit this submit to the shop button. So when we do that, it is actually going to open up our product page within the shop tab. Um, from here, we can actually go back and edit that product with this button here. Um, you can look at your creator reports for that product. You can see it was derived from the blank derivable voice box. You've got products like this, der uh, derivation tree, um, things like that. But this is completely unmissable. They highlight it in red for a reason. It's so that you don't forget to, uh, to, to publish your product. If you don't publish it, uh, nobody is going to be able to see it in the shop tab. You'll still have that product, um, but it won't work for anybody else. Um, and that means that if you try to trigger it unpublished, they won't be able to hear those OGG files that you worked so hard to cut and upload. Uh, so we are going to click here to publish it. Um, from here, we can see that that red, uh, that big red box has changed to this. The product is in peer review, but has not yet finished. Um, you can speed things up and vote. It usually takes about 30 seconds for somebody to take it and, and, um, and pass it in peer review. Um, but other than that, I mean, we're completely uploaded and I am just going to switch over. I'm going to take you over to my room. I'm going to delag the song and I'm going to play it for you. And you can see, uh, you can hear how it sounds. Um, anyways, thanks a lot for watching.
dog goes woof, cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and mouse goes squeak. Cow goes moo, frog goes crow, and the elephant goes toot. Dog say quack, and fish go blub, and the seal goes ow, ow, ow. But there's no sound that no one knows. What does the fox say? Digging holes, tiny paws up the hill. Suddenly you're standing still. Your fur is red, so beautiful, like an angel in disguise. But if you meet a friendly host, will you communicate by more? How will you speak to that? What does the fox say?